Welcome to the Easy Computer Fixes channel and today I want to show you how to extract or rip a music CD into Windows Media Player. It's quite easy and if you have a big collection of CDs it's a great way to actually put all that music together in one big folder and um, it's fun because afterwards you listen to your music without having to put these CDs in the drive all the time. So how do you extract? First of all take your favorite CD so here I've uh, crowded out CD that I'm going to insert into my CD drive in the laptop. Wait a few seconds for the uh, CD to actually uh, get initialized by the drive. It has to, you know, check for the format and everything. Now, the way I'm going to show you is the way that everybody should have it working. I'm not going to use any automatic stuff. So if you insert a disk and a program starts up to play it, close it. If you have this window like I have here, it says, well, okay, what do you want to do? The autoplay, just close it with a little X. Manually, you will go into your programs and click on your media player. So you need to go click Windows Media Player in the program list. Maybe you have an icon at the bottom or on your desktop. Wherever you see it, click Windows Media Player. Once it's open, on the left side you should see the name of your CD if it's a popular CD. And you'll see it right here. So I have it together alone here. Even the album art is downloaded. When you click on that, you are now in the mode where you can rip. But first, before clicking clicking rip CD, go on the right side and go to rip settings. Click here and go into format. By default, Windows Media Player will record in Windows Media Audio. It's a fine format, but it's unfortunately not the best format for compatibility. Almost every device will require MP3s and that's what you're going to click. So click on MP3. And second of all, go back to RIP settings, go into audio quality and look at the settings. Now you have four settings here, 128, 192, 256 and 320 kilobits per second. Um, of course, the best quality, it does say it's 320, but it makes files very, very big when you extract. And 128 is the smallest size. What do you choose and how do you choose? Well, first of all, think in terms of disk space. If you don't have a lot of disk space, keep it at 128. The quality is still good and the files are smaller so you can put more songs. If you have a lot of disk space, you can put it at 320. But personally, I don't think anybody can see the difference more than 192 kilobits per second. Um, I usually put it at 192 and keep it there because it's a good quality, but I don't personally think that it's useful to put the kilobits per second more than 192. And so once you've chosen that, all you have to do is look at the list of songs Put check marks in front of all the songs you want to get ripped. If some of them you don't want, you just click the box and remove the check mark. And so you'll have only the songs that you want. And once that is done, just click Rip CD. So what's going to happen? You're going to see each song and a little progression of ripping that's going on. So you see it here with a little gray box and a uh, green bar going through each songs. So you are in the process of ripping. Now where do these songs go when they are ripped? By default Windows Media Player will actually put these songs in a folder in the music library. So if we go and check the music library either by going to the start menu and going into music or if you click the uh, folders here at the bottom in the file explorer uh, go to your music library you see that there's a thing called crowded house together alone and inside will be my songs and here are the songs that are slowly getting uh, ripped and sent to the folder 
so this is where everything goes so when your CDs are popular CDs uh, they'll all have their own folder with the uh, artist name so if you have many uh, CDs from the same artist for example you'll find them all under the same artist name but they're all going to be separated by album which is pretty cool um, one little thing that can happen with uh, the import and the names is if you are using CDs that maybe a friend of yours um, copied or somebody just made you know a uh, some kind of a party CD and it's a mixed bag of songs homemade stuff is probably not gonna have any album art and any names so what's gonna happen you'll have folders called unknown artists with the date next to it you can of course rename these folders if you want and rename each songs because the songs are just going to be uh, track one track two track three so then you'll have to, if you want to have the names you'll have to actually manually rename everything in the music folder by right clicking and uh, selecting rename so uh, that's one thing that can happen if you are uh, actually using these uh, CDs that aren't uh, the official CDs if you want so it's as easy as that and uh, you can rip all of your collection into your computer which is pretty cool if you have uh, if if you enjoy your channel well just subscribe you'll be informed when new videos are online if you have any comments or questions on what you've seen let us know maybe you have a feature of Windows you'd like us to talk about a problem you have that maybe we can do a video to help you and help others let us know we'll try to put that video online and hopefully you'll come back to the easy computer fixes channel so thanks for watching bye bye